Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. And today, Hilda. <laughs> this is my aunt. She came in from Idaho, and I convinced her to come paint with me. Yay. So today, we are going to paint this rustic cross, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we both um, happen to love Jesus, and I figured this yes. is perfect for I us. Love it. I'm very <laughs> excited. I know, me too. Have you ever painted on canvas before? Um, a little bit. My a husband's bit. an artist, so he's let me do a few things, but I'm not very good. So I'm hoping you can teach All me right. some tips. I will. Some brush right. tips. Brush tips. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Okay, so here's our paint palette today. So we have real fancy paint palettes here at yes. Brush Tips. Okay. It's easily disposable. <laughs> <laughs> so we have turquoise, white, raw sienna. We have brass, copper, and we have uh, gold. All right. Okay. And so that's all the colors that we're using here. And we only have two brushes today. So normally we have three, but I'm only doing two today. Today we're going to do our, let me set this down, not enough hands today. <laughs> we're going to use our big daddy brush right here. This okay. guy is going to cover all the surfaces, all right? He's going to be the main one that we use. And then this one we're just going to use to write our faith. Ooh. Or you could write love, or you could write, you know, whatever you want to write. So mm -hmm. definitely if you want to customize it in the end. And you don't want to write faith. You don't have to. Okay. Okay, so take that big daddy brush and you have paper towel right here. Just go ahead and touch your paper towel with it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scoop up some white. Okay. Like you're eating a big bowl of cereal. A lot of white? Yeah, no. a lot. And okay. then a lot of the turquoise. Okay. So and now we're going to cover our canvas. Watch right. behind you. Just do this all over Okay. It. And be kind of messy with it. This is a rustic looking messy background. Ooh. I know. Do you I like turquoise? Oh, I love turquoise. Yes. I think it'll really go good with my furniture in my house. Well, that's Ooh. Good. How am I doing, Sherry? Oh, you're doing good. That's amazing. Really? Yes. Oh, <laughs> this is so much fun. I like to have it white, more more white in the middle, so I add a big oh. scoop of white and just kind of soften it up in the middle. Okay. Well. But it's whatever you like. All right. You don't have to have it that way at all. And don't forget about your sides. Oh. If you forget about your sides, then when you go to hang it up. Oh, right. It's not going to look so right. fancy hanging there on your wall. Right. I don't. No, I'm just not free enough with my arm, huh? It's, it's all right. Like... You are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you can wet your brush, too, if you feel like your paint's not oh, moving. Maybe that's what wet it is. Wet your brush and kind of <laughs> shake it off. All right. And then go ahead and touch your paint and then touch your canvas. Do you feel the difference in oh, that with yeah, the water on Oh, yeah, much better. Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing this, Sherry? Uh, this TV show or painting in painting general? Painting and TV oh, show. A long time. This I was is painting so... painting ever since I was little. Wow. And then um, I took a little break like after high school and then I started getting back into it again and got a job at a local paint studio and then I quit working there and kind of stayed home with the kids again and then kind of started back up again and ended up starting brush tips. Wow. Yeah. And then Wonderful. I have Wonderful. You're kind of like a Grandma Moses? Grandma <laughs> Moses? Isn't she the artist? Who? From, wasn't, from where? Was it Grandma Moses? Who was the lady that, or the artist that started real late in life? What was her oh, name? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well. We'll have but to wait, look that I, up. I'm starting wait. late in life? <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> you're like a teenager. I'm like a teenager starting, not like a... Am I getting too much of a bro brush stroke no. here? No, mm -mm. you, okay. can, you can spread it all out. This is Hilda's creation, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, and obviously like, you know, my beautiful niece, Sarah, she's super artistic. Oh yeah. And, um, 
you know, just... Does she come to your studio? So we've painted before. I actually went out there and we painted together. Um, I wish that she, she will soon. She'll come to the studio soon. Wonderful. We're going to have everybody out. Oh, geez. Yeah, everyone. A family affair, A family huh? one, yeah. That's what would be so much fun. Yeah. It is you been. could bring all your family to your studio. Don't forget about your sides. And then look, I move mine to the sides so I can paint on the bottom. Oh, very good. Yeah, we've done that with my mom's family where we've all come out and just painted and just had a good time. And it was fun. It was interesting. <laughs> it was, but it was a good time. Good. Um, but yeah, Sarah's been out and... Renee's been out, my super awesome sister-in-law. So we had a good visit while you were here. You got to do 85 million things because everybody had to share you. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've had a wonderful time. Okay, good. And you out there in Idaho do theater sometimes, right? Yes, yes. And you are a hairdresser, but you're now retired hairdresser. Mm-hmm. Yep. My, uh, I have a good friend who does this uh, kind of stuff, but I've oh, never yeah? gone to her art studio. Oh, so I'm, my goodness. I'm really excited that I'm getting a little taste of it today. Yeah. So next time I can do it. Yeah, so you could go to her art studio. Go to her studio, studio. yeah. Oh my gosh, and then you can go in and you could be like, I'm a professional. I did this oh. on TV. Ooh, <laughs> at Wadsworth yeah. WC TV. Yes, yes, Wadsworth City yeah. TV. You okay. got it. <laughs> Love it. I Love know, it. it's super fun. So I'm going to let this background dry for one second okay. while you finish up doing yours. We're going to add some of that raw sienna in there. My hands get super painted during this, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess. So this is a great time for like our friends, our art friends that are watching, to like go let the dog out while their paint, while their painting is drying. They could do things like make a cup of coffee, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, all kinds of fun things. Okay. Just they could take a little break for a minute. Right. Okay. Yeah, yours is looking good. Is it? Yeah, it's looking really good. You're doing a great oh, job. Wow. You're like a Not professional. Not as good as yours. <laughs> but this is my first one, so it's going to That is true. Time. It is your first one. Yes. But you. So how long do you let it dry? Well, when we're doing the show, we don't let it dry very long. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if we were to be painting like normal people, not yeah, in a not hurry, in, mm -hmm. I usually let it dry till it's completely dry, which is only about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I think the water makes it blend better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. So yeah. if I put a little more water. Yep, put a little bit more water. It kind of blends in. Yeah. This looks, yours kind of looks like a sky almost. You think? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not going to once I add that raw sienna in there. It's going right. to get a little bit messy looking. But yours is looking pretty fabulous. Oh, good. I like it. Oh, thank you. Is that good, do you think? Yeah, I feel like you're kind of a natural. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I could hardly make a stick figure. Well, I'm not teaching you how but to make a stick me, figure. But you're teaching me, so I'm happy about it. Okay. I don't teach stick figures. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if I did? Maybe one day I should just rinse off your brush real good. Maybe one day I should just come in and just do an entire stick family painting. Cute. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I wonder if people would be like, she's lost her marbles. Oh. I'd be like, I just lost my paintbrush. <laughs> All right, so you see this little raw sienna right here? Mm -hmm. And I like to pull it off here and just get a little bit on my brush and then just put it wherever you want. Just almost like you're sweeping a floor. You're a hairdresser. You know it's like just to sweep up that little bit of hair. All right. So just do that in any design fashion that you want. You can even throw some diagonal in there. Okay. Kind of throw some up here. Hmm. It's just to give it that like rustic aged looking background. Okay. Hmm. Super fun. Very. 
Yeah, so next time you come into town, maybe we'll have to do like a big family painting. Oh, wouldn't that be We could be go fun. up to yes. Tina's house. My cousin yes. has this beautiful home in Shaker Heights, and it's a big, beautiful, it was built in 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> so it's beautiful. Um, that is my house goals for when I don't have kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm super excited. I'm actually starting a kid's show. You are? Yeah, doing oh kids' show gosh. painting. I know. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to clean up my brush really good. And sorry, guys, I have to stand kind of in front of the camera or in front of my canvas. Oh, yours looks good. Is that enough? Yeah, do you think? yeah that is way good. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have to let it dry. Okay. All right. So I usually just drop my brush in. What I do is I grab it like this and I just kind of fan it in the air. Usually this is where I sing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, what's a good song? I don't know. I, you, what do you think? Um, what's your favorite song? Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen, I know. No, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not a good singer, though. Yeah, you are. I'm a good painter. <laughs> I know. Well, I tell people all the time. I, I I'm don't good know at karaoke. To. You are? You know, because they didn't you say I we would have gone along. to karaoke. <laughs> no, I love <laughs> no, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm sure we would have been able to go and find a good karaoke place. Yeah. That yeah. would have been hilarious. That would have. But I like that this best. Fun. Oh. <laughs> the, my karaoke days are kinda over. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm retired of karaoke. You are. Now I'm into painting. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting me in inspired. Yes. You can paint at to home. To be of Grandma Moses. Or yeah. I think it's Grandma Moses. We'll have to look it up later. Or if somebody knows, maybe they can message us and Oh, tell that us. would be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that they would know. Okay. Do you flip it over? And yeah, just blow that way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You could blow it anyway. Okay. I mean, <laughs> We you, understand. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a PG show. <laughs> All right. So you see how shiny it is? Yeah. It shows beautiful. that it's a little wet, but okay. that's okay. okay. Let's see how yours looks. Oh, yours is dry and nice. A little shiny? It is a little shiny, oh. but it's okay. You okay. just hit the thing like Bob Ross used to with his brush. Oh, is that what he used to do? But oh. with his brush, not his canvas. <laughs> I think I had it this way. Too, Whichever way you like it. Okay. Okay. We're going to take that big daddy again. Okay. And then all we're going to do is, I started with the copper. So this is a metallic copper. You can get these paints at any local craft store. And then I just started with making a cross. You do it a little bit off little center? Bit. It am I off center? Thing. I am. Look how <laughs> crooked I am. Oh, okay, no. so no, because I don't like to stand in front of my canvas mm -hmm. right. when I'm doing it. So I can stand over to the side a little bit like this, but no. Try to try to get it to go straight. You can stand in front of your canvas while you do it. Okay. Let's see. And then go across here. And it's going to be rustic looking, so it's okay if it's not perfectly right. centered. You know, we want uh -oh. it to we want it to be rustic looking. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to have tons of paint on it because we're going to add different layers of okay. different colors of paint. All right. Uh -oh. Perfect. How does that look? Like yeah, it? yeah, it looks great. Sort of. Oh, you did the sides. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Too. Sorry, and the sides. All right. I'm a little bit slow here today. No, you're How doing good. How high do I do? Up? Well, usually about a cross is a, yeah, it's a little bit higher than middle about that. when you're doing mm -hmm. a cross. Boy, this is starting to look like something, isn't it? Yeah. Anybody can paint now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they can follow along oh. and paint. Yes. You can go home and... Can I get this on? Yeah. YouTube or? Yeah, so w they actually have a web page, WCTV, right. like watch Wadsworth TV. All right. And then you can go on there, and then you can 
watch it, watch WCTV.com. You go on there and watch it. And you guys paint can right live, along with you. And you can paint right along with me. So oh. you can like have your friends over. Mm, you fun. can do painting right oh. here on the TV show. You can come oh. all the way from Idaho I and paint. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so make your cross oh. real thick because we want it to look like a big, thick, rustic cross. Because, I mean, it had to be big enough to hang, you know, to, to hold our savior, savior on, yep. right? Uh-oh. This is really a wide cross now. That's okay. Look how wide mine is. <clears throat> we're going to thin it out a oh, little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to thin it out. Okay, grab some of the other colors, like the, the gold. There's this gold right here, and mm -hmm. it's a softer gold. See how that's... I just kind of real lightly feather it in there. Okay. Just like you're sweeping a floor again. Okay. And then I, when I get down here, I pull up. So I start like this and I pull mm. up. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is fun. I'm Very. glad that you were able to come and paint with me today. Ah. Whoa. What How's happened? That? Yeah, that looks good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> it's good. You can feather it out a little bit on the sides if you really want to. Now, I, I heard you were going to do some uh, painting of the animals. That would be fun. Oh, yeah. We Have do. you done that? Yeah. Yet? Yes. Or, we oh, do those done that in the already. studio, but I'm not going to do them oh. here because they take a little while. Oh, so, do they? Yeah, so like you could send me a picture of your dog, Tuffy. Oh, that would right? be fun, yes. And then I could paint a picture of him for you, too. Oh, I love that idea. And then you could hang it in your house. Awesome. I know. So I do that, and I do, I pretty much do anything. I've done a lot of like personal um, pictures for people where they'll send me like a picture of their kid or... Um, uh -huh. One lady, her husband, super sweet lady, her husband just um, was in a bad accident at his work. Oh, so dear. I painted a picture of him, and he's alive, but um, he definitely, it was a really long struggle for him. So it was nice, and I was so honored oh. that she was like, can mm -hmm. you paint this? And I loved it. Wow. I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Um, I had another... Um, person asked me to paint a picture of his dad and his dad has passed away so that was super sweet that Very. I I love that people like in tr they trust me with this stuff they're I like here know. you go because it is you know very paint this it is it's such a personal personal journey yes, yes. so wonderful oh it's fun I think though. I finally got that right color I feel like okay. mine's real fat getting fat over here fatter yeah mm. I think I'm yeah, it's a little fat. It's all right. I'll clean it up. How do you clean it up? We're going to do that in a minute. Okay. Once we get all the colors on that we like. Mm -hmm. And then what I want you to do is whatever is left on your brush. You see how I have just a little bit of paint on my brush? Oh. Uh-huh. So when you're done doing that line, since I've interrupted you, mm -hmm. <laughs> there mm -hmm. you go. That looks so good. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> it. It looks great. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then after, now I have all this little bit, and you okay. just have a little bit on your brush. Mm -hmm. Just real lightly kind of clean it off through okay. here. And you kind of do a wrist motion. Yeah, yeah, I do I like a little wrist motion. And if and you, you have to get a more. Bit of the, what is this one? Ross Sienna? No, that's copper. 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 I added a little copper because I okay. really kind of love the copper. Oh, over here, I, I know, really I loved the a lot of copper. I like the copper too. Yeah, over here, I really uh -oh. loved the. It's okay. We can wipe it off with paper towel if it's too much. Okay. Is it too much for you? No, I think we can add something there. Are you sure? I don't know. What do you <laughs> think? Should I? I think it looks great. <laughs> here, I'll take a little bit off. Thank you. Oh, great. I know. I just yeah, because it was a Whoa, little bit much. Okay. So at home, oh, you could okay. definitely grab a paper towel and just wipe it off okay. yourself. But I do it with my hands. So <laughs> Yeah, there is a lot on my brush, too. 
So uh -oh. I just kind of go this way. Uh oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, then I added white. Oh, then you add a little uh, bit of white. That's okay. You could bring uh, it back. There you go. That looks good. And we'll we'll fix it up afterwards too. We'll okay. take a minute and kind of clean that up a little bit All when right. the show's over. <laughs> okay. Oh, she'll make it look really pretty. That's what I like. <laughs> it looks great. So now. if you go to her studio, then she'll. Then I'll Fix make it, it. <laughs> if it doesn't quite look right. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. they can message me for advice. I can help them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Are you on like some kind of a web page or? Yeah, yeah. I have a web page. Okay. We have I a don't really understand all brush that. Brush Tip Studio. <laughs> okay. And oh, Brush Tips Dot Studio is the web page, and then. The Facebook page, we have a Facebook page too, so you could check that out. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you happy with your marks, your rustic uh, marks? Yes, I am. It's All right. a little bit off, but you're going to fix it up. Yeah, so we're <laughs> going to take the blue now, and then this okay. is where I said like we're going to kind of erase some of the stuff. Okay. I'm just real lightly going to bring some of this blue back in. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I added a lot there, but that's okay. I'm just softening up my edges here. See how we're doing that? Ooh. Yeah, do you see how it just kind of like softens Ooh, it up? I like it. Feather it out a little uh -huh. bit. Yeah. Let's see. Like you're blending eyeshadow, right? Mm-hmm. My eyes aren't good enough for that blending of eyeshadow anymore. <laughs> Could be the baggy eyes. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like it's a family trait. Uh-oh. I know. <laughs> Sorry, Sherry. You got it. I know. I know. I've got a lot of those family traits. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I have those nice, big, sunny cheeks. Like, yeah. They have fabulous. Yep. Oh, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Chubby cheeks. We love it. <laughs> I, yeah, I love it too. <laughs> but I do have great hair. Uh huh. That comes from uh -huh. from you guys. So yes, that's fabulous. Oh dear. Mm. So I'm loving this. Oh my gosh, that looks <laughs> fabulous. I love that. So you yeah, can, mine almost looks too set. So you it? can okay. So bit. what I want you to do is I want you to, you can wet your brush. Let's okay. let's messy this guy up real okay. quick. Okay. All right. So wet your brush. I would like that. And then I want you to just take whatever is on your canvas, and I'm going to show you real quick. And I just want you to pull it up like this. Oh yeah. Okay. I like that. Yep. See how it really mm -hmm. softens it up. Mm -hmm. That's what it needed. And then do that same thing here. Oh, great. And then you can grab the blue and just do that same thing with the blue. Okay. So just a little tiny bit of blue. Uh-oh. Nothing okay. is really a mistake, is it? No, no. Because it's, it's... It's painting. It's whatever right. comes out of your brain into your hand. <laughs> and then you can grab this blue okay. and just start pulling Wonderful. a little tiny Wonderful. bit of blue in. Oh, I love that. So see how I just add that real mm. soft blue? Yes, and that makes it look almost like uh, abstract a little right, bit, Right, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I yes. love it. You're doing fabulous. Well, thank you, Sherry. I enjoy doing this with you today. I know. Me too. I'm so glad you invited me. I know. I'm so glad that you didn't leave today like I thought you were going I know. to. She yeah. leaves tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Is that mm -hmm. too much, maybe? No, or? that's great. And then we can even let it dry, and then we'll add some blue into it, too, so it doesn't smear all together. Okay. I would suggest that people dry it in between because it does make a big difference. Like when it's dry and then you start putting more paint on, it makes a big difference. It just makes those colors more vibrant because mm -hmm. they're on top of the paint instead of blending in with it. <laughs> right, right. I love it though. I am having a blast. Good. And it's so easy. It is. 
and I just have to get more free with it, don't I? Yes. And the more you practice and the more you paint, the more you're going to get used to the brush and the strokes and how to work your brush so that it comes out onto your painting the way that you want it to. So I just encourage people all the time, practice, 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 practice. Well, I better get back in the studio when I get back yeah. home, don't I? Yeah, <laughs> right. So we're going to grab this little brush now because now we get to our final finishing touch, okay. all right? So we have this little pointed brush here and we get to roll it through either your copper or your gold or whatever. And then I just want you to write whatever you want. So you can write Jesus here. Or you can write faith like I did on that one. Or you can write your favorite Bible verse. Or you could write hope. You could write love. Mm. You can even just put Hilda. Oh, I sweet. feel like everyone <laughs> will love Hilda. Oh, I sweet. know. People will probably message you now on Facebook like, you are the best aunt ever. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh I just don't want them to all my nieces and nephews to call me cranky old Aunt Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. You're our favorite aunt. Oh. And then, just like everybody out there, our, our, our artists out there, what I want them to do is we take this little brush right here and we just roll it in and went after you write your word, this is what we're going to do. Okay. And just put your little signature down there and then that's it. And oh. now our painting's done. I know. So tell everybody to stay tuned for another show in another week, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> stay tuned. And thank you, Aunt Hilda, for hanging out with thank us today. You. I appreciate oh. it. You're amazing. And I love you. Right. Thank you, <laughs> darling. You're welcome.